Hey everyone, this is Phoebe from the Bugsnag team, and today I'm going to show you how to navigate the Bugsnag error inbox. The error inbox is one of the most important pages in Bugsnag, so let's get started. You can see we provide a bird's eye view of the errors in your application so you can get ahead of problems and prioritize your work. Incoming events are grouped together by root cause, and they're displayed as unique errors to prevent the list from being dominated by noisy exceptions. The heuristics for identifying root cause are platform specific, and you can understand exactly why events were grouped together by drilling into the error details. For information about error details, I'll put a link to that video on the screen and also at the end of the video, so be sure to check that out. Now, in the inbox, you can see the error headline here, which is the type of error and where it is occurring in your application. You can also see the message being thrown by the exception below the headline, along with the times that the error was last seen, first introduced, whether the error has any comments, and who the error is assigned to. On the right side of the inbox, you'll see the number of events grouped under each error, as well as how many users have experienced the error. And this is all to help you understand the scope and impact of the error so you can prioritize the most important issues first. You can also sort the inbox by events or users as a quick way to identify the errors with the highest impact. Further to the right, you'll see the trend of the error over the past two weeks, the release stages the error occurred in, whether the exception was handled or unhandled, and the corresponding error severity, which is used for alerting and notifications, but can be customized to suit your use case. On the left side of the inbox, you'll notice the workload status, and new errors will display under the open status in the substatus for review while they await triage. When you decide that an error is worth fixing, it should be assigned to a team member, or if you have integrated with your issue tracker, you can open a ticket in that system or link to an existing ticket directly from Bugsnag. Errors will remain open until a team member marks them as fixed, and for issue trackers that support two-way syncing, errors will be automatically marked as fixed after the ticket is closed in your system. So for example, we have a really great two-way sync with Jira. For low priority errors, we recommend snoozing them until a critical threshold is reached, or if you decide that an error is not worth fixing, it can be ignored entirely. Ignored errors will be hidden from immediate view under the ignored status, but they can be unignored at any time. And finally, you have the option to discard or delete errors if you don't want future occurrences. However, these options should be utilized with caution. All right, now that you're familiar with the error inbox, I'd like you to go ahead and watch this next video on error details. Thanks for watching everyone.